Well, we've shown a lot of these uh, mini notebooks uh, on our show. Uh, a lot of people call them netbooks. Well, we want to show something taken to the next level. We've got Jamie Brigden on the program with us. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Jamie's one of our segment producers and a, uh, I guess, a tech enthusiast like myself. Indeed. These Dell Mini 9s are very popular right now, and they come pre-installed either with Linux or Windows XP, but you're running Mac OS X. So you're running like a little mini Mac notebook now, but on a Dell Mini. Out of all of the uh, small computers, it's probably the easiest one to do, so that's why I chose the Dell. Well, I want to go through some of the steps that you took to do this, but I guess before we do that, we should give a few warnings. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do this. Yeah, it's a little complicated. I mean, if you haven't installed uh, an operating system before too often, it can be a little uh, kind of hard to do, but uh, there's many step-by-step -step guides online. So this particular one, um, actually, it doesn't have a hard drive. It's got a solid state drive for storage. Yeah, just like one of these little small ones here, really tiny little uh, flash memory drives. This one came with eight gigabytes, but you uh, decided to uh, take it up a notch. Yeah, I purchased a 32 gigabyte one online. Uh, yeah. Just give myself a little bit more space to uh, install the operating system. Do you mind if I take this off? Yeah, here? go for it. So that's yeah. 32 gigabytes of storage, so you have more room for the operating system and programs. And yeah, the operating system's generally around about eight gigs or so. But why did you decide to do this on a Dell uh, model instead of like uh, one of the other manufacturers? Out of any of the ones that are out there, it's the easiest one to do, and it's really easy to uh, change the hard drive, change anything else on it. It's very, uh, very configurable. Okay, so what are some of the, uh, the steps here? Uh, you recommend a website, obviously. That Yeah, mydellmini.com has everything. It's just, there's a great forum, great community, lots of people there to help you out. And that'll actually go step by step, because we just don't physically have enough time to install yeah, the whole it's, operating it's a, system. It takes a little while to do it, but yeah, they have a step by step for many different ways to, to install it through either through the actual retail disks, if you want to put it onto a USB stick or if you want to just install it on anything else, it's the easiest way to do it. So you'll want to go out and get a copy of uh, yeah. the Mac operating you'll, system. You'll need a retail copy. And again, a warning here, this theoretically, and a lot of people will argue yes or no, but it breaks the licensing agreement of the yeah. Mac operating system. Yeah. So we've got the external USB uh, DVD drive hooked up to this. You can pick these things up cheap, 50 bucks? Yeah, about $50. And I'm just gonna pop this out. You've created a, a boot disk from the, the website again? Yeah, mydellmini.com has a lot of boot disks. They're always changing too, so. And so once you've created this, and it's pretty easy to do that. Oh yeah. You basically stick it in and uh, you plug yeah. it into the... Just plug your USB in and... Uh, you're good to go? Yeah, and... Turn it on? Just boot up your computer. So you gotta make sure that it, it boots from the... Yeah, sometimes it's a bit finicky. It depends on the drives. Uh, sometimes they can boot right off the first time, sometimes they can't. I, I tend to go into uh, the setup just to make it easy, just so I've made sure I've, I've got my drive working. Yeah. And just exit away. So again, you're going into the BIOS setting. Just the BIOS, and, and sometimes you can go a BIOS, sometimes you just go to the boot menu. I find the BIOS has always worked for me. So right now it's um, booting from this boot disk, and yeah. what this is doing is setting it up so that you can install the the Mac OS. Yeah, it's making yes. a section configurable so you can install the Apple operating system. Miles above my head in some technical terms, but yeah. uh, it, it works, so. So you can just take that one out, uh, and then we want to make sure it's booting off of the, the drive here. Yeah. So uh, once we so have... So this is the Apple OS X yeah. disk. You stick it in, and then just follow the on-screen instructions. Yeah, so it says if you want it for your boot device, I'm going to choose 9F, which is my, uh, my DVD drive. Yeah, and it should be ready for your installation right here. And so that will then install the Mac OS onto there and... Yeah, there's a couple steps. You need to uh, format it in a special way for the Mac operating system, but that stuff's a little bit more technical, but it's all outlined on the, uh, on the websites for you. What are the downsides? What's the speed like running Mac operating system on You're there? generally going to find your regular uh, speed is going to be fine. You won't have any kind of an issue. I mean, some of your heavy uh, applications like Photoshop and something might chug a little bit or your uh, you're, you're probably not doing high-end 3D graphic work on, on it. Probably network. not, but if you really want to, I mean, if you really want to, you can get it done. It's just going to be a little bit more uh, constraint on your screen and a little bit on the slower on the processor side, but for the most part, everything's going to run quite well. So what about things like uh, the Wi-Fi access, uh, Bluetooth? Some of these have Bluetooth and some of them have webcams. Yeah, everything works. Everything works right now. Uh, if there's something that's not working, the, the people who are on the forums, they're working really hard and getting everything working. And why did you do this? Once you go to Apple, you stick with Apple. You don't really want to go to... you wanted a smaller little... Network. Yeah, it's great Apple. to carry around. It's, it's, you know, it's about two pounds. And as far as skill level, again, this isn't for beginners to do, but I, I guess more of intermediate to advanced users. I mean, if you're really a beginner and you really want to do it, you can do it. It's just pay attention to the steps. And if something messes up, you can easily just go back to the beginning. And so from start to finish, um, how long did this take you? 
Uh, you can probably take about an hour or so. It just depends on the drive you have inside of it. Sometimes they're they're quicker at reading, sometimes they're slower, but you, the installation can be pretty quick. And uh, the website, once again? MyDellMini.com will have every information you need. Well, a great way to try running different operating systems on your little mini uh, notebook. It's the Mac OS X actually working on a Dell Mini 9. You'll want to check it out. Gotta get connected, connected, connected.